Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you on how inline link works. Okay, so kanina sa previous video ko, I demonstrated on how an anchor link works. This time, I will show you naman the inline link po. So just a quick definition, again, inline link, it's a type of hyperlink in which once you open or click that link, you will be directed on a different path. Okay, unlike sa anchor link, the same document or the same file lang ang ina-access mo. Okay, now, I have here a preset uh, na mga text na nakikita niyo sa screen. So, what we'll be doing is we're going to do some three ways on how to access inline link. Now, that sounded wrong. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, <laughs> anyway, moving forward. So, this is a word document. Uh, so sorry, this is a word document. It should be common. Click here to open a slide presentation. And next one is click here to play the DWCL hymn. And uh, later on, malalaman natin yung isa pang task. Now, so uh, as simple as anchor link, ang gagawin lang natin is you need to identify what will be the source code po na panglalagyan natin. And of course, alam din po natin kung saan nakalocate yung mga different applications or files sa computer ninyo. So, of course, we'll try make this as our source code. Right click natin and make sure to select the link. Ayan. Ito pa. And then, dito po, kung kanina sa anchor link, ito yung ginamit natin. This time, we will use this uh, uh, button in which existing file or web page. Then, dito, we're going to look in for the document na gagamita natin. So in my case, I I saved my PowerPoint presentation or slide presentation sa desktop and I will just simply locate it. So ayan. And automatically the address is there. Ayan na po. So I'm just going to click okay. So as you can see here, naging color blue ulit siya, meaning to say this is now a hyperlink element or a source code. Please take note of the word source code. Tapos, on this uh, second scenario naman, I'm going to play the DWCL hymn from this, ano po, from the document to VLC. So, just going to highlight the word here, link, and then try to locate where the video is stored. Yan. And there you go. It's an MP4. Now, sir, is it possible if we can uh, open a website from this uh, document, Word document to the website? Let's say I want to open YouTube or Google. Yes, you may. You may do that. So, dito. So, click here. Here to open google.com. Google.com. Ayan. So, uh, what we'll be doing is highlight natin, right-click, link, and instead of locating po, make sure na nandito pa rin tayo, nakaselect tong existing file or web page, we're just gonna simply click here, okay, sa address. And www.google, ayan na, google.com. So, automatically, the Microsoft Word or the Windows will detect if this uh, address that we are accessing is a website. Okay? So, click natin si OK. Ayan. Now, let's try to test this. Okay? Kung gumagana na. So, first, I'm going to slide, uh, open a slide presentation. And if I click here, sabi dito that there is a potential security concern. Concern lang sa atin si Microsoft Word. So, we're just gonna ignore it. So, just gonna click yes. And, as you can see here, nag-open na po si PowerPoint or si slide presentation. Okay? Next is, we're going to play the DWCL hymn. Same process. Click. And uh, click yes. And same din pa rin. Are you really sure? Click OK. And... Ayan na po. Okay? And lastly is the website. So, if I click here, ayan, automatically, magbubukas po yung web browser. Yung default web browser na ginagamit ninyo. Okay, then there is, yeah. Something like that. Okay? 
<laughs> so without further ado thank you so much guys uh you can try this guys okay if you have your computer or laptop with you guys please try this okay thank you so much have a great day